This video looks at a fairly routine example of the cosine rule and also how to find the area of a triangle. Now in part one we're asked to find AD. So this is the length within this triangle here. So let's call that X. Now because we know the two sides and the opposite angle, we can use the cosine rule which tells us that X squared must equal 9.8 squared plus 6.4 squared minus 2 lots of 9.8 times 6.4 times cos of the angle 53.4 so this formula here gives us a value for the side we want squared this gives us that x squared is equal to 62 2. So to find x, we just do the square root of 62.2, which works out at 7.9 centimetres to one decimal place. So again, if we know two sides and an angle between them, SAS, we can find the side opposite the angle using the cosine rule. Now, part two asks for the area of triangle ABC. Now then, if we know two sides and a contained angle SAS, then we can find the area using the formula half AB sine C. That is a general formula for the other triangle. Now, we know two sides, but we don't know the angle here. But we can find that quite easily, because that there is a straight line. So to find the missing angle, I do 180 take the known angle. So 180 take 53.4 is 126.6. Those two add to 180. I now just use a half. A and B are just those two sides in any order. So I'll do 9.8 times 7.3 and then times by sine of the angle, which is 126.6. Put that into the calculator and we get the answer. 28.7 centimetres squared to 1 dp. Just one comment to make on an A-level paper. These are given in degrees, so make sure that you use your calculator in degree mode. On some exam papers, they can also be radians, and the distinction is quite important. 